Have a quick mushroom today, Agaricus bitorcus. <laughs> Don't quote me on how to pronounce that name, but this is a smooth cap white mushroom with brown gills and a brown spore print with a short and stubby stem. The stem will have a large ring from the veil on it, although I squished this one, and my son found it popping up out of some very hard packed soil with the cap barely sticking above the dirt, which is actually one of the good identifying features of this mushroom. Never eat a gilled mushroom unless you are 100% confident that you know what it is because there are a few deadly mushrooms that will kill you very painfully. One thing that I forgot to mention too is that the gills are not attached to the stem, so remember that when you're identifying. Then take your brush. You never want to run it underwater to rinse it off because that'll make your mushroom slimy. When I'm trying a new mushroom for the first time, I like to cook it up the same way I cook up my morels, which is fry it with some vegetable butter, onions, and garlic. The author of Mushrooms Demystified said that this is one of his favorite agaricus. Let's find out. Yeah! Delicious! It is so much tastier than the standard agaricus you can find in the grocery store. I will get you, I will make, I will make you laugh. <laughs> if you live in South Dakota or the Midwest and you love to forage mushrooms, you should check out some of my mushroom videos. Or if you like to forage plants, bugs, and fruit, check out some of my other foraging videos because there's a lot of wild things that you can put in your mouth.